When I recently heat formed the rear glass for my Civic race car in both polycarbonate and acrylic, I compression molded it outside the oven because I only had one Honda factory rear glass and I didn't want to put it in the oven for molding and risk that glass shattering. But a viewer of my video on that work told me that automotive glass is formed between five and 600 degrees Celsius. So putting it in my oven at 125 degrees Celsius shouldn't worry it at all. So with two rear glasses made, today I can safely put that factory glass in my oven and direct mould the Lexan right in the oven. To avoid burning or smoke, which would discolour the polycarbonate, you've got to remove all this aftermarket window tinting. Do that with a, a hairdryer. And I've had to remove the wires for the demister and the little bits of plastic conduit that the Honda glue on the window to hold them in place. So I need to have this glass in a state where nothing will burn or smoke and I can then put it in the oven. I've just done my test, hitting the Honda factory rear window in the oven and moulding on the glass itself. Glass didn't break, <laughs> didn't explode, didn't crack, didn't burn, didn't smoke. That's acrylic, that's moulded, no worries. And there's the, the Lexan. Test, it's moulded, it's crazed because this is just a scrap off cut and I haven't pre-dried it. That's just another reminder of what happens if you don't pre-dry Lexan. So I'm going to have some lunch and then I'll have a go at uh, moulding a window directly in the oven. But it looks like this is going to work and if it does, it'll mean it's a lot simpler process with uh, less gear required. I've just finished pre-drying my uh, polycarbonate at 125 degrees for four hours. And let me show you some of the changes in the setup of the oven that I've done. You'll notice that uh, from my previous video, that I've gone back to the ventilated timber shelf with the holes in it, and I've raised the sheeting up much higher. I just had it on low dowels before, about 15 mil high. I've now got it on 75mm high uh, pine wood. That gets it away from having a concentrated blast of hot air. And, and you can see that I've got, haven't had any distortion or round uh, bubbling like I had in one of the tests. So that's how I'm doing my pre-drying now. Timber shelf, ventilated and up high to, to let the air get rounded. Let me also show you how I'm going to set up the glass in the oven with the moulding of this Lexan over it. Once again, I'm using the ventilated shelf for the baking of the Lexan, and I've got the factory glass up quite high, uh, just on a couple of house bricks. So there's plenty of space between where the heat comes through the ventilated board and the glass, which means that the air will be tending to just circulate evenly around um, my job. And then I just place the Lexan on top and that's where it'll sit while I bake it. Um, it's a good idea to pre-cut your uh, clear plastic about 50 mil oversized to the glass that you're going to copy because if it's, if it's just too big it'll fall all over the place and cause you problems. So a slight pre-trim before you uh, do oven moulding is uh, what I'm finding is working. This is now ready for heating and drape moulding in the oven. Well, moment of truth. How did we go baking the Lexan in the oven? Well, I can tell just looking at this straight away, this is absolutely perfect. <laughs> you can see here on the edge, how the Lexan has formed and it's melted and gone 90 degrees over the edge of that glass 
and right around that corner. And I can see that I've got no spring back. So let's just lift, lift this off the, the glass. Let's see what we've got. Got a little bit of heat bubbling there, uh, water vapor bubbling there. But not far enough to worry about with a race car. But look at the way that sh that shaped itself around that edge. Well, I would say that this is giving a better result than uh, drape moulding out of the oven, uh, even with a fiberglass mould to compress it. Uh, because it's curved right around the glass, it's sort of prevented itself from springing back. So my verdict is baking acrylic and Lexan in the oven on the factory glass. I think that's the simplest and the best way to go. Moulding plastic windows at home in a virtual freebie and homemade barbecue, you're never going to get results as perfect as proper industrial uh, processes. But uh, for the home racer who uh, wants to make their own lightweight windows, this is definitely better than trying to take that flat sheet of acrylic or polycarbonate and put 44 screws around the windows, screwing in place trying to bend a flat sheet that doesn't want to go into a compound curve. You can do it, and you can do a fairly reasonable job. I've now got to trim this and uh, paint the black surround that hides the internal car frame. Having heat moulded both polycarbonate and acrylic, I can say that acrylic is definitely the easier way to go. You don't have to pre-dry it, and it's very unlikely you'll get uh, the bubbles that Lexan is prone to. Lexan, you've got to preheat it, let it cool right down, and then uh, drape mould it in the oven. As far as the differences between the two materials go, acrylic is 60 times stronger than glass, uh, is virtually scratch proof, but it can tend to crack around holes where th that you drill to, to mount it. It's, uh, I would say it's really well suited in a hatchback situation to a hatchback where you have a complete steel frame going around it. However, that's not the case with my Honda Civic. There is just the glass. And in that case, I think Lexan is the better choice. It's 200 times stronger than glass, and you can drill all the holes in it that you like for the hinges and the little gas struts to keep it open if you want an opening window. So uh, you make your choice. If you can't be bothered doing this, and you're in Australia, and you want a curved hatchback glass uh, moulded, send me your glass, and I'll copy it for you and send a copy back to you. I try to avoid repeating myself in these videos, so if you're considering heat forming clear plastic windows in your own shed, go to the how to section in my library of videos and uh, notice the videos down the bottom, how to make a $200 oven performing Lexan and the previous video to this one, race car windows, the complete DIY guide. Those two videos, together with this one, will give you all the information that you'll need to be able to successfully form polycarbonate or acrylic windows for your race car at home.